The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 18th of June, 1660. To my lords, where much business, and some hopes of getting some money thereby. With him to the Parliament House, where he did intend to have gone to have made his appearance today, but he met Mr Crewe upon the stairs and would not go in. He went to Mrs Brown's and stayed till word was brought to him what was done in the house. This day they made an end of the twenty men to be accepted from pardon to their estates. By barge to Stepney with my lord, where at Trinity House we had great entertainment. With my lord there went Sir William Penn, Sir Henry Wright, Hetley, Pierce, Creed, Hill, I and other servants. Back again to the Admiralty, and so to my lord's lodgings, where he told me that he did look after the place of the clerks of the axe for me. So to Mr. Crewe's, and my father's, and to bed. My wife went this day to Huntsmore for her things, and I was very lonely all night. This evening my wife's brother, Balty, came to let me know his bad condition, and to get a place for him but I perceive he stands upon a place for a gentleman that may not stay in his family when, God help him, he wants bread. Nineteenth of June, 1660. Called on betimes by Murford, who showed me five pieces to get a business done for him, and I am resolved to do it. Much business at my lord's. This morning my lord went into the House of Commons and there had the thanks of the House in the name of the Parliament and Commons of England for his late service to his king and country. A motion was made for a reward for him but it was quashed by Mr Hainsley who, above most men, is engaged to my lord and Mr Crewe's families. Meeting with Captain Stokes at Whitehall I dined with him and Mr Gullop, a parson with whom afterwards I was much offended by his inopportunity and impertinence, such another as Elbra, and Mr Butler, who complimented much after the same manner as the parson did. After that towards my lords at Mr Crewe's, but was met with by a servant of my lady Pickering, who took me to her, and she told me the story of her husband's case, and desired my assistance with my lord, and did give me, wrapped up in paper, five pounds in silver. <clears throat> after that to my lord's and with him to Whitehall and my lady Pickering my lord went at night with the king to Baynard Castle to supper and I home to my father's to bed my wife and the girl and the dog came home today when I came home I found a quantity of chocolate left for me I know not from whom we hear of Will Howe being sick today but he was well at night <clears throat> 